Good evening, New Mexico. So tomorrow will actually mark one week since Albuquerque students returned to school. But for many parents, it will mark one week of frustrations with Albuquerque public schools. We're receiving complaints about unbearably hot classrooms almost every single day. And despite the outcry, it seems things aren't cooling down that much. Griffin Rushton met with an Albuquerque mom today who is in some ways taking a stand against the district. Griffin. Yeah, she absolutely is, Trevor, pulling her son out of school until the temperatures in his classroom come down. Now, it may sound like a drastic decision, but she's not the only parent taking a stand, and she points out this isn't a new problem for APS. It's not fair that they come to school to learn, but they have to use one hand to write and the other one to sweat wipe their sweat off their forehead. Yanelli Escamilla is like any other mom. She just wants her kids to feel safe and comfortable at school. Now that they moved the schedules from 94, it feels like there are much more hours, you know, in school. And for the fact too, they, they should be even more comfortable. But she says it's hard to be comfortable in a classroom that's not much cooler than outside. I went in there right before 10 a.m. and it was already 86 degrees in his classroom. And it's not a dry 86 degrees. Humid, humid hot. You feel it on your skin. It's hard to breathe and you start sweating immediately. But don't just take her word for it. Is it comfy or don't? No. No, I wasn't comfortable. Can no. you handle the heat? No. Escamilla says school leaders at Adobe Acres Elementary did try to find a cooler classroom for her first grader, Elijah. But it seems there's no escaping the heat until the school's AC is fixed. They don't know when that new pizza is coming in. It could be a month, it could be weeks. And for the meantime, we have to be sending our kids like this. Yes. We shouldn't. And she's not anymore. Escamilla and another parent pulled their kids out of school Monday, insisting they're not going back until the hot classrooms are cooled down. Because he's not going to be coming in pretty much red, super red, and telling me it was hot in class today, Mom. Like, I want to go home and change. I just hope, you know, APS hears us out finally. But this isn't a one school problem. In fact, our team has received complaints about hot classrooms from at least nine APS schools in the past week. A district spokesperson says crews are working seven days a week to fix those issues, but it seems there's only so much they can do. 70% of our systems of roughly 25,000 air conditioners that we have in the district are evaporative coolers. When the weather's hot and we're getting rain, that humidity, humidity level goes up and we're really pulling, you know, 10, 15 degrees cooler, in some cases at best instances 20. When we talk about, you know, uh, converting to refrigerated air, absolutely an option, but there's there's definitely a cost factor involved. District officials say they are distributing portable ACs to affected schools, but Escamilla also knows this is not a new problem. This happens every year. And so if APS already knows that this is an issue that happens to them every year, they should already have fixed it years ago years ago and they should be more prepared. Now, Escamilla told me she would consider sending her kids to private school if the district does not invest in a long term solution here. Now, as for the district, officials say the best way to report hot classroom problems through each is through each school's principal. And they assured us today that crews are looking into every complaint that they receive. So, Griffin, that's what they're telling us. But we know a lot of parents out there are telling us themselves they still feel like their complaints aren't being heard, aren't being taken seriously. Yeah, they don't. So our team took some of those concerns to the Albuquerque School Board president today. That's actually not my territory. The school board is really focusing on student outcomes and our one employee, which is the superintendent. I am hearing from people literally yeah, every day that their, their calls are not getting answered, their concerns are not being answered. You're an elected official that represents the people. Absolutely. And so the school board's work on that was to hire a superintendent who knows what she's doing, who hired a competent staff to manage this. And so we're referring all of this work to the administration because we're not experts in operations. We're not elected to be experts in operations. We're being elected to represent the voice of the community and sharing that back with the school district. Now, APS leaders added their crews worked through the summer to address uh, as many issues as they could before the start of the school year. But as it's clear, there are still some issues out there. Yeah, definitely, Griffin. Thank you so much. Like you mentioned, nine schools, nine classrooms so far. We'll see if that number goes up uh, in terms of the people we've heard from tomorrow. Thanks again.